Welcome to part two of the GWM Tank 300 launch content. And if you've come from part one, thank you for watching because in part two, we're going to be looking at how this car does off-road and everything that it can do from a capability point of view. And yes, it can go from tar to gravel with absolute ease. It should be. It's an SUV. And thanks to the different drive modes, it makes that transition even easier. Now, I'm not going to go into what the car looks like and look at all the details and everything like that because if you've come from part one, you've already seen it. And if you haven't, go check it out. Okay, it is finally time to go 4 by 4 in the tank. Let's go. And we came through to the Vild where we're going to be putting these cars to the test. And depending on your experience level, there's a track to challenge anybody. And because of the roads we were driving on, we arrived here looking like we were experts. But we're not. It's the car that is, and we're going to let the car do the talking and let the car show off exactly what it can do here. And the ride quality is what stands out the most for me in particular. It's not overly firm like a normal 4x4 would be, so it's still quite forgiving. It's quite soft, especially on the tarred roads. That's where it shines the most. But we're not on the tar anymore, are we? And throughout the launch, we were putting the car through various types of challenges, really pushing it to the limits to see what it is capable of doing. From checking out the suspension travel to the approach angle, departure angle, ground clearance, wading depth. Not that this was very deep, but still, it's got a lot of traction through the mud and it's able to pull itself out of weird and difficult situations. And I know I wasn't going to speak about the looks and design in this video, but damn, it stands out. And in this orange, it just pops. First bit of 4x4 in complete and seriously impressed with what it's able to do so far. I'm excited to see the rest of it. So far, so good. We've just done our first stint of off-road driving and... This car is proving to be really capable so far. Also getting to test out some of the tech. So we've got this turn assist down here, which allows you to take a little bit more of a tighter circle while going off-road. And then I'm also trying out the, almost like a low speed off-road cruise control. And it almost feels like you're traveling at like, probably like oh, under Yeah, so also trying the very like low speed cruise control, which is also quite cool. Uh, put it into like, I don't know, under 5Ks an hour and it slowly just manages its speed, uphills, downhills. Yeah, very, very convenient in off-roading. Now this off-roading course was definitely not forgiving and they weren't trying to put the car through the easiest things to show it off. Because here you can see the ground was very uneven, but we were really able to see how the suspension can travel. I mean, check that back wheel, how it tucked almost right underneath the car. It remained completely composed and as a driver behind the wheel, it was very easy to do this. It wasn't complicated. There's buttons for everything, even just from going to low range. It's as easy as putting the car into neutral, turning the dial and you're there. The car does all of the hard work. The guides obviously just help you through it, but it's the car that shows off. It's the car that's doing everything that it should be. It's not messing around. It's capable of all of this. There wasn't an instance throughout the day where I was like, wow, this car actually can't do this or can't do that. It managed to perform through everything and every task we threw at it. And yes, looking really good at the same time. And if there was ever a moment where the car was just spinning its wheels or not able to do something, it really came down to then user error more than anything where someone either didn't select the right program, didn't put into low range, or didn't lock the diffs, etc, etc. So just enjoy the GWM Tank 300 in its natural habitat. And adding to the Tank 300's off-road arsenal is its 360 camera system that when going in low speeds will automatically turn the 360 cameras on so that you can see every angle of the car, every wheel right in front of you so that you do not scrape anything along the way. And then just a bunch of tanks getting ready to attack their steepest challenge yet. We're now about to send the tanks up this massive incline. I don't know if it'll do it much justice, but it's really steep and I think this is going to be a tough one for it. But after how it's performed today, I've got no doubt that it's going to do it super easily. And right off the bat, the first tank headed up the hill without an ounce of hesitation, wheel spin, loss of traction or anything like that. It absolutely munched this uphill like a tank should. And this next clip will really show you what that incline looks like. And it was really steep, but because the car's got a really impressive approach angle, getting up hills like this isn't a problem at all it's not going to scrape the front and because the departure angle is just as good you aren't scraping the back of the car either and that's where you really get to see how the approach and departure angles make a difference in a car and off-roading because when you're approaching big hills and inclines like this that's where you're definitely going to see it the car is going to scrape you aren't going to get up but as you can see the tank 300 made it up there effortlessly 
And yes, there were instances where the card didn't make it up first time, but as I said, this was because of user error. So either someone did not put it into low range, they didn't lock the diffs, so the wheels just spun and it lost traction, but it was very easily overcome by just allowing the car to do what it does best, putting it into the right settings, drive modes, low range, lock diffs, and off it goes without a problem. But after that, time after time, each Tank 300 summited the hill without a problem. Concentrating so much. Nice. There you go, and this is Matt driving without his foot on the pedal. Check. All off because of the off road cruise control that I spoke about just now. Let's just hope that this is not like AI and develops a mind of its own and decides to just keep driving forever. There you go figuring out the traction on its own just giving Matt a bit of a workout there yeah. Yeah, it works the arms, it works the arms. <laughs> you've got to know where to place it yeah that's the only thing so it does require manual input yeah it'll manage the traction and the speed you just got to point it in the right direction and then just to remind you guys again what is powering this tank 300 so you're going to get two different engine options firstly you get the two liter petrol that puts out 162 kilowatts and 380 torque and that's matched to an eight-speed zf transmission and then there's the one we've been driving today which is the two liter turbo hybrid version which puts out 255 kilowatts and 648 torque so thanks for watching part two of the tank 300 launch content i do have part three on the way too where i'll be living with it for a week on test so i'll speak about fuel consumption more about pricing and how it's like to live with every day so if you guys are wanting to do some adventuring like this and want to get yourselves a gwm a tank when it comes out or anything else like that then go check it out on changecars.co.za the website that sells new and used cars but the benefits of them is that every dealership that sells cars on their website is vetted so you aren't going to get scammed you aren't going to get taken for a ride but you're going to get the best service and they're going to walk you through your purchase from start to finish their website is also a hub for everything automotive so you can check out car reviews you can read articles you can see everything like that and if you want to see what car you can afford, they've even got a tool that you can do that. So go plug in your budgets and they'll give you the car that best suits that. So go check out changecars.co.za and they're also a proud partner of Greg Dennis Reviews. So that's it from the launch of the Tank 300. If you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like below. And if you want to see more videos like this, other car reviews and other car related content, then make sure that you subscribe. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.